Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Today we're reacting to Depeche Mode's Violator. So over the past few days, this album has piqued, piqued my interest. Brad Tasty Music covered this album, and then Smags covered this album. Some like other reactors I'll be watching. I found out the Needle Drop, the Needle Drop gave it a 10. This album is probably a hidden gem or something, bro. I gotta check this album out. Ooh. What's this called? Is it called like synth pop or something? Oh fuck, I forgot lyrics. Like, what was that? What was that noise I just heard? That shit was fire. Let's run it back. This is a banger. Look at my body just talking. Wow, wow. Banger. This is a banger. I like his voice a lot too. I like his voice. Like the weird, like, let me show you the world in my eyes. Like, it's hard. It's hard. I like, I like it. Ooh. This is a great intro. This is like setting up. This is like, I don't know. This is great. This song is fantastic. The zone out, the classic zone out. What do you call it? Like the fade out? It's like an iconic thing with like 90s and 80s songs. Sweetest perfection. The sweetest perfection. Dare too much. It's like almost creepy. Like those, those sounds. Bring to the thug in me. Yeah. It's weird. I can hear someone like sawing something in the background. Like it's going across. Oh, my apologies. It's going like across the headphones, like to left and right. Weird. This is great. This is really cool. I like how like overwhelming it is. It feels like very overwhelming, but in a good way. What? This is a banger. This is a banger. So what do you like call this genre? Is it like, is it like synth pop, like experimental synth pop or something? Like this is so experimental. So much going on right now. So much going on. This song was great. Yeah, when even when it got overwhelming at some points, like it was, it was so good. It was so fun. I, I don't know. I found it almost like really fun. Personal Jesus. Oh, I've heard the song before. Yeah, dude. Like I said, like bro, my mom played so much of this album, I feel like. She played um, Policy of Truth, this song, 100% this song, and then another song of this album, I'm pretty sure. So I've, I've already kind of heard like a handful of songs of this album. I think I've definitely heard this song before. Oh, like my mom's speaker. I thought he said reach out and touch me, not reach out and touch Faith. Oh. This is great, bro. I'm fucking with the instrumentals a lot, bro. Like, I think, I think, I don't know what it is, but like, his voice and the instrumentals, like, match so well. Like, they, they're, like, so lined up and so, like, match so well. It's like, I don't even know what he's saying at the time. Like, honestly, I'm kind of just, like, vibing with the instrumentals a lot. What? It's, it, this song knows how to, like, this band knows how to keep itself interesting by just, like, throwing curveballs at you, bro. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's cool. Cool little outro. Cool little, cool little outro to that song. Halo. This album reminds me of, um... Oh man, there's an album I listened to a while ago. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me, like, pull it up. I don't know if you all know this album or not. It's called The Art of Noise. Um, this one. Who's Afraid of The Art of Noise? Like, this This is what this, like, production reminds me of. That's what the production reminds me of. Like, all the beats and stuff like that. Oh! I like that. Wow, 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 wow. I fuck with it already, bro. I already fuck with it. This is great, bro. Ooh. Now this is a banger. This is a banger, dude. This is great, dude. I'm just like, I haven't really said much. I'm just like really digesting this song right now. It's great. 
His voice is so good with this beat, dude. This instrumental song. This song is fantastic. Really, like, really addicting hook, too. Really addicting hook. Like, where the wilds they fall apart. Like, banger, dude. Waiting for the night. This is even, like, Minecraft-type beat right here. Minecraft-type beat. For the night, to fall night. Like, don't... This, bro, run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> like, bro. For the night to fall <laughs> this, is a, this is a classic. This is a classic. This is a weird... This, this is a tone switch, though. Definitely a tone switch. It's gonna go hard as fuck, I already know, it's gonna go hard. This is pretty, what? Kind of an eerie tone, kind of an eerie weird tone. This is very weird, a weird tone, it's like a creepy tone. That's giving rodeo, bro. That's giving rodeo right there. Ro Ro Travis Scott rodeo. That just gave me like hella rodeo vibes. Run it back. That's cool as fuck. I like how it says on the harm word to make it like more eerie. I don't know. It's cool. Like it, it comes off pretty like first listen. It, com it comes off pretty like oh this is a pretty song. But then it gives you like eerie like faint eerie vibes and stuff. I don't know. It's cool. Super cool. Is this talking about death? Like the reality that everyone's going to die? Like, is, that, is that what he's talking about? A oh, very creepy tone, a very creepy like concept. This song is definitely good for the album, but I feel like I wouldn't go back to that song like driving on somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'd only listen to the song if I was listening to this album. You get what I'm saying? Uh, enjoy the silence. Yeah, this song I've heard. I've heard the song countless times from my mom. I'm gonna be honest. It's a banger though. I can't lie. It's a banger. I'm not dissing though. It's a banger. Where it's a very unnecessary. Go. Words are very unnecessary. Bion. Bion. You hear that? I'm so bright for what though? I'm so bright. Killer instrumentals. Killer instrumentals. I think respectfully though, it's just because I've heard the song so, so many times. It might be my least favorite on the album, respectfully. It's a great song. It might be my least favorite only because I've heard it so much. He says, what if he says, enjoy the silence, and then it's literally two minutes of silence. Wait, is it actually going to silence? Did I call that? Did I just call that? Did I just call that? Enjoy the silence. Did I just call that? I said that as a joke. I swear to God, everything I love, I said that as a joke. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not silence. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever heard that second part before. I don't think I've ever heard that like last part. I think it's because the radio probably cut it out. Enjoy the silence. Okay, it did a little bit. Policy of truth. This song's better than the last song, respectfully. If you guys, if you guys just skip the video to this part, um, I'm gonna remind y'all that my mom played the hell out of like both these songs. The last song and this song played the hell of these songs when I was growing up. So I've already heard it. Banger. Already a banger. Already a banger. Yeah, that build up hard. That build up hard. This is a banger. Second best on the album. Second best song on the album for me. Like I said before, bro, his voice matches the beat so well. I love shit like this. Okay, this part right here. I like this instrumental a lot. It reminds me of like old video games that I used to play when I was a kid. Like old like PS1 games and shit. That's great. It got- Oh, what was that? Yeah, that was cool. It got like really repetitive at the end there. But still fun. It was still good. You know what I'm saying? Blue. Blue dress. In the policy of truth. What a weird start. Oh. It's hit or miss for me. Hit or miss for me. It can grow on me though. It can grow on me. What's going on with the song, bro? See, this is some video game shit right here. This is some video game shit. <clears throat> See, this is another this is another song. It's like good for the album. I feel like I would only listen to this song if I was bumming the whole album, like front to back.
this is this one's interesting. This one's interesting. Kind of a weaker outro, I feel like, for this all the sounds I've been hearing. On the flick it's not here, I'll I'll finish the song. The song's valid. The song's valid. I think that I wasn't expecting kind of a slower song for the outro. I'm not really a big fan of like slow songs for outros, if I'm being real. A good example would be like the end of Heaven or Las Vegas by Cocktoo Twins. That had a banger outro. I mean, banger outro. I'm definitely a lot more of a fan of uh, banger outros than like short outros. So I guess I, w I guess it wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah, bro, this is a banger. This is just, it's just these nine songs. These are, uh, yeah, bro. Every song on here is a banger except the last two, honestly. Um, I'm feeling a nine on this album. I'm feeling a strong, maybe, not, maybe not strong, maybe like a mid nine, maybe a mid to light nine on this album. This is great. This is very great. Yeah, dude, the production was crazy, bro. The production was so fun to listen to. I like his voice a lot, his voice matched the instrumentals a lot like very well yeah this was great bro this is, it was so entertaining he, he like i feel like they know how to like make a song like really entertaining like if something if something happens for so long they'll be like fuck it we're gonna throw some sh random ass shit in there and it's like catch you off guard like it's, it's great bro I, I love that it's about music i love it's music i might make more videos on more depeche mode albums i'm not sure if i'm being real if you like this kind of makes sure like subscribe and as always i'll see you next video peace out